What's up, YouTube? Bob, I'm in Sports Cards, back with another video. I apologize for the year-plus-long hiatus. Um, I hope to be more active on here, posting more. Um, but the pro with uh, being gone for so long is that you can have an updated car collection video, which is what we're going to do today. Just some additions, subtractions, kind of where my collection has gone more recently, what I've decided to focus on collecting more, and so on. So without further ado, uh, let's get into the video. First card was a recent pickup uh, earlier this spring. A Jared Allen 2005 score inscriptions auto. Uh, BGS 9 with a 10 auto. Second year for Allen. He I don't think he has a lot of ton of first year rookie autos. He was a fourth round pick out of like Idaho, I believe. So not a ton of rookie autos to my knowledge. So, uh, but uh, Viking legend and uh, happy to pick up a uh, second year. Uh, next, uh, we have another fun one, not a Viking, a uh, legend of sorts, but a uh, NFL legend, NFL Hall of Famer, a Jim Kelly 2004 Leaf Certified Materials, NFL Shield, BGS 9, one of one, it is game worn as well. Um, so yeah, just a fun pickup, um, I feel like you can't go wrong with a NFL game worn shield of a, you know, Hall of Famer, so... I think it was a nice pickup. Next, we have a former Viking, uh, Anthony Barr, 2014 Prism Gold, out of 10. One of 10, as you can see. Um, yeah, former Viking player, four-time Pro Bowler with us. Um, actually came back for us last year and played a little bit, I believe. Uh, we signed him to the end of the year. Um, but yeah, another Viking. Um, Good player back in the Mike Zimmer regime era. Definitely fun watching him. Sticking with the uh, Prism theme, we have a 2015 uh, Eric Kendricks Prism Gold Rookie Auto. This is out of 10 as well. Another Viking great, uh, former All-Pro and Pro Bowl player. Never got the true recognition I think he deserved. Um, severely overrated in my, uh, severely underrated in my opinion. Um, so very cool to pick this one up and to be able to pair it with this next card, which is the 2015 prism rookie auto black finite one of one BGS nine five with a 10 auto saw this pop up on eBay auctions, knew I had to have it. Thought it'd pair great with the gold out of 10. Not too sure yet if I'll st start on the rainbow, but uh, definitely have two of the bigger cards in that rainbow, so it might make that a little bit easier for me. <laughs> Continuing on, we have uh, a card you've already seen in my collection that I still have, a big card in my collection. Uh, it's a Dalvin Cook 2017 Optic RPA NFL Shield, one of one. Definitely a grading candidate in the future. Sometimes really haven't gotten around to it, but very clean card overall. And I love the gold vinyl slash super fractor parallel. It's definitely my favorite. The way it just shines. So very nice card in my collection. Continuing on, we have another 2015 Prism card. This is the Daniel Hunter Gold Rookie Auto. Out of 10 as well. Um, yeah, just another card that I thought would be pair well um, with another card as well that I recently picked up um, that I was looking for for a while, actually. And that being the Stefan Diggs 2015 Prism Gold out of 10 PSA 9 pop 1 I believe I could be wrong um, but yeah uh, Stefan Diggs another all pro and pro bowl player he's with the Bills had a solid career with the Vikings of course with the Minneapolis Miracle but uh, all three guys have uh, uh, were great players and additions to the team back in 2015 and just really just a great draft class for the Vikings um, landing three all pro or, or pro bowl players 
in that draft class. Um, it was a pretty rare, I believe. Um, so it was a fun little kind of collection um, in addition to my collection, trying to find that last one, which was the digs, which was also the most expensive. Um, but yeah, anyway, now we move on to the final card I have in my collection right now is the Adrian Peterson 2007 Exquisite RPA. BGS 8.5. It's a 9 auto, um, which isn't really that big of a deal to me. I think he might have gone off slightly on the card here, which is why they gave it to him. But um, on card auto, chunky patch, big patch window, um, exquisite, can't go wrong with that. One of my favorite products Upper Deck ever created and released. And the grade's kind of secondary. I don't really care about grades, to be honest, at all in my collection. As you can see, I don't have a ton of like gem mints or anything like that. Um, when you find kind of cards that are don't pop up very hard, you know, very often that you might not see again or, you know, kind of rare, um, I definitely don't mind whatever the condition of the, the card is. Um, you know, you buy the card, not the, not the grade, as they say. So, um, but yeah, and as far as Adrian Peterson rookie cards go, especially with RPAs, I don't think you can really go wrong with this exquisite RPA out of 99. Um, definitely one of the more sought after RPAs for Adrian Peterson collectors. I think anyway um, um, but one that was that was definitely my radar and one I was glad to get especially with the chunky patch in this one um, so uh, yeah definitely one of my favorite cards in my collection but uh, yeah that is it for now as you can kind of see my collections kind of transformed a little bit kind of going back to more modern instead of ultra modern uh, cards um, players who were established proven players Pro Bowl players some even Hall of Fame players that had great careers in the league, guys I grew up watching, um, but not just their, you know, base or like, you know, higher numbered cards, kind of more, you know, more rare sought after cards that you don't really see all that often. Um, cards that uh, you definitely, you know, have to try and jump at the gun to get, um, otherwise you might not see it again or might not see it for a while. Some of these aren't that super rare, but um, the golds out of 10, 101s, um, super fractors, NFL shields, um, exquisites. That's definitely kind of the collection or the cards and the type of cards I'm kind of aiming for and collecting um, those established players, like I said before. And uh, so far, I really enjoyed doing it. I um, hope to ex expand my collection a little bit more, um, definitely a little bit more costly, I'd say. And then collecting more of the ultra modern kind of prospect guys in some ways, in other ways, not so much. Um, Guys like Eric Hendricks, Neil Hunter, guys you know that maybe more Minnesota-based guys would know or fans would know aren't as expensive, obviously. But um, you know, Adrian Peterson still somewhat expensive. Stephon Diggs, the gold was expensive to me at least. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the direction my um, collection's heading to. That's kind of what I've enjoyed really, um, and just you know, continue to keep my eye out on more uh, great players, great cards, rare cards. Um, but yeah. So that's an updated uh, video on my current collection. Um, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like what you saw, obviously um, feel free to give it a like and uh, subscribe. Like I said, I hope to put out more content in the near future. Thanks.